Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Simon. I'm an ethical hacker. It's my day job. Uh, behind the camera lens is none other than cameraman Clint. Cameraman Clint, would you like to say a few words? Hi guys. <laughs> awesome. Guys, on today's agenda, we are continuing with the theme of certifications in the offensive security realm. So today's video is all about Hack the Boxes CPTS, which stands for the Certified Penetration Testing Specialist. So without further ado, let's get into my review of that. Okay guys, let's get into a very important aspect of the certification, the pricing. Okay, so when I wrote the exam a month ago, give or take, it cost me about $250. So around the 200 pound price, price point. But I need to tell you that it was only the exam voucher that I purchased that cost me that 200 pounds because Hack the Box has a subscription service called the University Student Subscription that I used and that came in at about $8 a month. So there's different types of subscriptions that I'll get into after talking about the cubes. So cubes are basically the academy's currency that they use and it's a dollar amount Cameraman Clint uses cubes to purchase his module. Cameraman Clint, do you know roughly what the cost of cubes are that you can tell the audience? So it's about one dollar for ten cubes, but they've got like options. So you can buy like uh, two hundred for twenty dollars or five hundred for thirty dollars, and there's a few more of those. Okay, cool. So yeah, guys, here is the breakdown of the pricing structure. Okay, cool, guys. So. Here is the pricing. So you get two different options for the subscription based model. So you can get a monthly one or an annual one. So I'm more of a monthly billing kind of person. So that is where I will start today. If you are a student, then I suggest going for the student plan. It gives you everything you need for the CBTS and the bug bounty certification. So definitely the king for value or money but if you are not a student you can choose between the different subscriptions so you get silver gold and platinum and the monthly subscriptions basically just give you cubes each month that you would use to unlock the different modules that you're doing in the cbts path so let's check out annual billing <coughs> so for annual billing you get another two options and if you are full of stacks of cash you get rewarded with more things so if you pick the silver plan uh, you get everything you need for the CBTS and the bug bounty one as well as the SOC analyst cert as well as, as an exam voucher over there let me try to highlight it okay cool there um, so we definitely encourage you to go for the annual plans by giving you all of this nice stuff and then if you are made of some serious money, you can go for the gold annual, which basically gives you everything except uh, the tier four modules, but those are very advanced anyway. And you get an exam voucher every year for any one of these certs, which is basically all the certs that Hack the Box Academy offers. So cool, those are the monthly billing and the annual billing subscriptions that you can get. And then we have exam vouchers and kind of explains itself. You buy this after you finish the course, unless your subscription that you're on comes with a voucher, then you don't have to buy anything. But if you are on a monthly subscription or you're buying the cubes yourself, you got to buy the exam voucher when you're ready to take the exam. And these are the prices, 210 for the CBTS, is what I paid about 190 pounds. So yeah, let's go down to cubes. So cubes is basically the currency that you will use for the modules. And 100 cubes is worth $10. And that's basically how they scale. So $20 gets you 200 cubes and etc. etc. So once you've bought the voucher, you would come over to exams here on the left hand menu. And you will click exam information and you'll be greeted with this page. So right now mine is under review, but if you had finished the course and bought a voucher, it would say 
two attempts available. And you'll be able to click here and begin the exam. Since mine is under review, I can't do that. But that is basically the billing and the pricing of the CBTS. So yeah. Okay, cool guys. So let's talk about the course content. There's a lot of content to go through. 28 modules to be precise. In those modules, you're gonna learn techniques and tricks. I'm talking about Active Directory. I'm talking about privilege escalation on both Linux and Windows machines. Attacking enterprise networks, even documentation and reporting. So, what is awesome about the content is, at the end of each module, you get a skill assessment, which is basically a mini exam that reinforces everything you've learned. So it really helps you prepare in that sense as well. So I think, you get a lot of value for what you paid for, especially if you have a university email. Must be nice. <laughs> it really is, brother, it really is. Okay guys, let's talk about revision. A big part of what I did for the exam was, I didn't feel confident on some of the earlier modules that I did when I finished all of them, because 28 modules takes forever. So what I did was, I went back and I did all the skill assessments to basically reinforce everything I had learned. I thought about it as, I had gone through a semester of university and I would written all of these semester tests so why not go back and redo them. But Hack the Box Academy also has this awesome feature called Hack the Box Academy times Hack the Box which has all the machines that are relevant to the modules you are doing. So you would go there and search for the module that you are doing and it would drop down all the machines that are basically the skills that you learn in those modules. And you can use that as well as a, as a different way to, to practice for the exam. Okay guys, so you've done your revision, you ready, you feel you're ready to write the exam. So you purchase your exam voucher if you're not on one of those subscriptions that already have the exam voucher included. So once you've got your exam voucher, you navigate over to the exams tab and you click on start. You're then given 10 days to write the exam. You need 12 out of 14 flags to pass the practical section and you need a report that is decent enough to deliver to a client to pass the reporting section. So I know what you're thinking, 10 days. 10 days, long time, long time. Guys, I'm here to tell you that I personally found it quite tight in terms of time. So for the first flag especially, I really struggled to get it. it I think I got it after the first day, so I took a whole day to get the flag. And my rate of getting flags was about 1.5 flags a day after that so it left me with about two days to to do the reporting so i slapped together this report on the generator that was provided cameraman Clint, could you just provide a picture quickly for the people to see it thank you so much so i handed in the report and i was like oh i definitely passed i write reports on the daily there is no ways i could fail and then it all went downhill Okay, so guys, after about 10 days, and that 10 working days, I got my feedback back from Hack the Box. I thought I'd passed, and then in the email it said that I failed. So, the vibe went from about here to about there. But then I went and looked at the feedback that the examiner had given me. And it was really detailed, it was all to do with my report, obviously. He said that I had gotten enough flags to pass, but my report was shocking. It didn't even have a detailed walkthrough, so, so that was a problem and I had left in placeholders. So from the generator you get a to do and I had left that in. So just stupid mistakes like that. I recently retook the exam and fixed up my whole report. I handed it in the first time at about 70 pages and now I handed it in at 96. My detailed walkthrough was very granular. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the next 10 working days, 20 working days, however long it takes for them to mark it. But I'm holding thumbs that I pass. Guys, if you've been enjoying this content so far, please consider giving the channel a subscribe and a like to the video. It really helps the channel grow and it helps us know that you're enjoying the content. In ending, would I recommend you going out for the certification? And the answer is, I would. I think for what you pay for and what you get, it's definitely worth it in that box. And I think it really prepares you well for a job in penetration testing. A lot of people have compared it to the OACP and a lot of people that have taken both the CBTS and the OACP have said that the CBTS is much harder. 
So if you do it before the OSCP, it prepares you well for that certification. That's what I'm personally doing. So I've done it now and uh, I'm going to now start learning for the OSCP. And then let's talk about HR. The real reason why we get these shiny pieces of paper called certifications. So as of today, the CBTS is still up and coming. About 500 people have it, so not a lot compared to the OACP. But I do think as more people obtain the certification, HR will pick up on it and it will become the next industry standard. So in ending, would I recommend it to a friend? I definitely would. I think it's helped me a lot. It's taught me things I, I haven't learned before and it's helped me become a better penetration tester. So as always, keep hacking and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!